I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve rational inequality. Whenever you are solving rational inequality, bring all the terms to one side. We are given 55 divided by x plus 16 greater than minus x. So the first step should be bringing minus x to the left side. So we have 55 divided by x plus 16 plus x greater than 0. Now we can take common denominator of x plus 16. We get 55 plus x times x plus 16 greater than 0. Let's open the bracket in the numerator. 55 plus x square plus 16x over x plus 16 greater than 0. So we have a quadratic equation in the numerator. We can rearrange and write it in the regular form, the standard form. x squared plus 16x plus 55 divided by x plus 16 greater than 0. Now we need to factor the numerator. Now to factor numerator, at times it may be difficult to get product and sum. My suggestion here is use quadratic formula, right? The quadratic formula is x equals to minus b plus minus within bracket b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? So use quadratic formula and get your factors. That is my suggestion for this kind of a question, right? I will also teach you a method of factoring but uh, that is better. So in this case, x should be equals to minus of 16 plus or minus square root of 16 square minus 4 times 55 over 2. We can use calculator, find this answer. So within square root, we have 16 square minus 4 times 55. That gives us 6. So so it's easy, right? So we get two factors, minus 16 plus minus 6 over 2. That gives us two possible solutions. When we use plus, in that case, it is 10 divided by 2, which is 5 with a negative sign. If we use negative, then minus 22 divided by 2 gives us minus 11. Correct? So <coughs> we can factor the numerator. And let me write down the factored form as, so these are the two roots for the quadratic equation. So the factors will be x plus 5 times x plus 11, right? Only then minus 5 will give you 0, minus 11 will give you 0. Divide by x plus 16. And we need this rational function to be greater than 0. Now, we have to look for zeros of numerator and denominator. So the zeros are at x equals to minus 5, minus 11. And we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 16. Now, these three points actually divide the plane into four intervals. And we'll analyze these four intervals to find our answer. So we have three of these. And they are at minus 16. Let's say this is minus 16. Then we have minus 11 and minus 5. Now, minus 16 is a vertical asymptote. It should never be included in our solution. Those are zeros. They could be part of solution. Well, in this case, since it is greater than, none of these will be part of our solution. Okay. So, these zeros or vertical asymptote divide planes into intervals and the intervals are from minus infinity to minus 16. This is from minus 16 to minus 11. Then we have minus 11 to minus 5 and from minus 5 to infinity. Let's take these are the intervals, right? Let's take test point in these intervals. We can take minus 20 for example here. We can take uh, minus 12 in this case, we can take minus 10, and here we could take 0 as our test point. 
Now at these test points we are going to analyze each factor. So we have three factors to analyze. So one, two, and three. So the first one is, let me write x plus 16. If I write minus 20 will be negative, minus 12 will give me positive. These values will also give me positive value. Then x plus 11 minus 20 will be negative this will be negative these two will return positive value and for x plus 5 we expect negative 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 and 0 will give us positive now product of all this that is the rational function itself when you multiply three negatives you get a negative right in this case you get positive in this case you get negative here you get positive you want greater than 0. Greater than 0 means these two intervals, correct? So we get our answer and we can write down our answer as that x is within the interval. Uh, this one is from minus 16 to minus 11. So we can write minus 16 to minus 11. None of them is included. Union or AND minus 5 to infinity minus 5 to infinity so that is the answer for this inequality right so that's how we can solve it as a test what you can do is you can always test for a zero so as you can see zero is in your answer if i write zero here i get 55 over 16 which is positive number and so positive number is greater than zero right so so that works. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.